Did you ever have one of these oh my god moments when you realize that your plan is being attacked by a pest? I don't know how you react in that moment, but I get very defensive right away because being self-sufficient with my herbs is very important to me. This way I just know what fertilizers and pesticides were used during growing. And so once I see critters attacking my plants, I try to get rid of the pest ASAP. But naturally, organically. Hi, I'm Sebastian Good from Fast Buds and right now I'm having some plants on my roof terrace and they got white flies on them. So due to my misery, we're going to look into one of the most common pests in cannabis right now. White flies. At first I need to state that there are no flies. And the only thing they have in common with flies is that they are flying insects. They're actually very closely related to aphids and they love to suck the sap out of our plants. They usually hide on the underside of the leaves and they look a little bit like tiny white moths. They feed on the nutrients, mainly in the leaves of our girls, and they kind of glue their eggs to the underside of the leaves. And they reproduce extremely fast. They can lay up to 300 eggs, which are ready to hatch in just 24 hours. Then of course they take a little bit longer to mature, but they still spread very, very fast. So let's take a bit of a closer look at white flies. They get up to 2 millimeters long and have wings and antenna. As said before, they basically look like white moth, just very tiny. And if you want to spot them easily, just shake your plant a bit and you will see them flying all over. A typical time to get whitefly infestations is during mid to late summer when it's warm and humid. They use their piercing mouth parts to suck up plant juices and leave a sticky substance behind, similar to aphids called honeydew. This stuff can actually cause fungal infections, so it's best to get rid of it ASAP. They can also carry other diseases, which makes them dangerous to our plant. Even though the yellow spots they leave behind can be mixed up for other pests, like for example uh, the thrips, they are easier to spot because you just shake the plant, as I said, and you see them flying around. And of course, you can also check for the eggs on the underside of the leaves. A couple of white flies won't do much damage, but if your leaves start to turn yellow and dry out, you know it's getting serious because they took too many nutrients of the plant and the damaged leaves won't be able to perform photosynthesis anymore. Therefore, it is better to never let it come that far. But how can we prevent them? Well, as with so many pests and diseases, a great airflow does miracles. If it's too windy, they just won't feel safe. I, for example, know exactly how I caught them. I have a cucumber plant in a corner of my roof terrace, nicely tucked away in a humid area without proper airflow. So perfect conditions for them to thrive. And then I didn't fight them right away when I first saw them, so they got time to spread. So always check if you see some and take measures right away if they are around. And a great idea, as for so many pests, are those yellow sticky traps. It just shows you what you're dealing with right away and it also reduces their numbers. So what else can we do to fight off white flies? First of all, I would always use organic insecticides. Let's not forget that we want to consume our buds at one point. Some people use essential oils like cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary and garlic. But they only work because the insects don't like their smell. And in my opinion, that's just not enough to really get rid of them. And then of course there's always the possibility to introduce predatory insects like ladybugs for example. They're cute and they will eat the white flies, but they only really work indoors. And there is also diatomaceous earth, which can be used at the bottom of the plant. And if the insect gets in contact with it, they will simply dry out. And also spinosad products, which can kill them as well. But I will stick to my answer to most insect related issues. Neem oil, especially if you use it in combination with insecticidal soaps. The soap will soften the exoskeleton of the insect and because of that they are more receptive to dehydration. And the neem oil does the rest. Even though it won't kill them right away, it makes the whole environment basically unlivable for them. It prevents them from feeding, larvae from maturing, it reduces mating and it can also coat them, preventing them from breathing. And remember what I said earlier, when white flies but also other bugs attack our plants, they can actually cause fungal infections and neem oil is also a great fungicide. 
I just wouldn't use it if your plants are in full flowering and getting ready towards harvest because it can affect the taste of the buds quite strongly. Usually I just mix a few drops of the insecticidal soap and a spoon of neem oil with water. Shake it well and then spray it everywhere. Avoid the buds, but make sure to spray the undersides of the leaves. I repeat this every one to two days for a little while and soon you will not see any more white flies. Did you ever have problems with white flies and did they harm your girls? Let us know and comment below. Also subscribe to our channel and check out our social media outlets. And since time flies, never forget, it's 420 somewhere. <laughs>